Hello everyone, I welcome you all to this course Certification in Quantity Surveying and today we will be discussing about what are the various types of plans and drawings that we use in a civil engineering while calculating any quantity. There are many plans which are defined and bifurcated into different ones but basic ones are the ones which we use to calculate the quantity the first one is the architectural drawing second are the structural drawings then we need electrical fittings plumbing and sanitary fitting and finishing drawings okay these five are more important ones and then they are bifurcated into smaller ones so as to get easy for the quantity calculation understanding and also handling on the site also you can't carry a bunch of drawings altogether if you want to do the uh, foundation only you'll just carry one drawing related to the foundation so that's what it is all about related to the drawing so let us go one by one and how these drawings are further more bifurcated into other drawing types that we are going to discuss now the first one let us start with the architectural drawing which has a four major part that is a site plan and a working plant and a cross sections and the elevation so we'll start it by one one by one so the first one is uh, architectural first our drawing is about the architectural plans that the contractor uh, uh, receives and in that there is one first illustrative drawing is a site plan so site plan is something which gives us the aerial view of the construction site that means where your site is located what are the adjoining properties whether they are completing or uh, whether they are in a process whether they are completed someone is living there or not what are the roads what are the inlets of water outlets of water pipelines what are the major pipelines what are the manholes surrounding to your area what is the slope and everything that gives you better understanding of this one because you need well before starting any plan you need to know what exactly is surrounding to your uh, uh, available area so based on that you start doing the planning right so first one is a site plan second one is a working plan so now I have decided that this kind of house uh, uh, one BHK house I just want to construct so based on that I have taken out the drawing which has been finalized from as a client from me and a contractor also has give, uh, passed over the drawing uh, to the contractor the drawing is passed over so that helps for the construction that what exactly is the amount of work I actually want to do and how much of the area I want to cover from this one. Uh, available area so that is what it has been explained into this drawing and this drawing gives a general idea of what exactly is my scope of work so this is another important one drawing that we are going to use uh, in case of quantity calculations the next one is about the cross sections this is another important drawing because this drawing gives you a more elaborated idea about how your house is going to be constructed and with what type of material it is going to be casted so now when you take a cross section of something you can see inside of that thing right so you can say this is a 2d dimensional imagery you get in front of your eyes where i'm getting the wall is being cut over here so that i'll get a, get to know that this is the type of bricks are there then how much is the spacing of that brick how they are spaced and then over here i can see the type of concreting done over here okay then uh, here is a window getting cut here is another higher window is getting cut somewhere if it is door is getting cut shuttering it is cut then what is the height of the window uh, from uh, seal height of the window then what is the uh, uh, no overall height of the door and everything that's what we are going to know whenever in a cross section whenever you're going to take a cross section of any plan and the next one architectural and the important another one is the elevation so what exactly elevation does it is it gives you an overall idea about what is will be the facing of your house now as a civil engineer we know that there are the principles of planning right we do remember aspect prospect grouping luminous sanitation circulation and everything so out of them how many are getting fulfilled again uh, how much of air water uh, air and sunlight i am getting and everything that i am going to know from this elevation plan Another one elevation plan gives you the heights which are essential for you to know ki from where the height of this whatever the construction that I am right now going on is from ground level at what height it is. 
and the overall you know total length of that height of that uh, um, material or whatever the component you are going to use in house that you are going to come to know based on this one so uh, from this one we also come to know what are the sizes of the windows what are the sizes of the doors that we are going to use in our construction so even the elevation as the front rear elevation then side elevations also we take so that if the house is you know more aesthetically uh, you know complex we can say if we, uh, too much of cornices are taken out and many offsets are there so we need to have more and more elevation to know what are the actual scope of my construction so up to here we uh, come to know about architectural com components of the house that how how the house is going to look like now the next one are the structural components which give you the idea related to the what the structural things inside the house will be and we know in a frame structure there are main components foundation then we have columns then beams and slabs and right and with it we have first one is the general notes general notes are very precise and important ones because they are the ones who give you the idea related to what exactly um the each and every component is been casted with right so i don't know whether if you guys are able to see this one there are certain notes related to the foundation there are certain notes related to concreting then this there are the steel notes there is a masonry low notes and everything so uh, along with the general notes that how you are going to uh, how you are expected to construct this component along with it it specifically to construct this component there are certain rules and definitions so if there are and if there are they are included in a tender and contract i must know them so for that the general note is the first and most important structural drawing the next one we have is excavation and foundation and column drawing so why i'm saying and column drawing because many a times they come all together many a times they are different also so in this drawing as it was um, in the same drawing so i have made them as a one document okay so what are the excavation and foundation it's it, this total drawing gives you the idea related to how much of foundations you are going to have in your construction as you can see there are 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 foundations are there okay and what are the types of different foundations so this is this is kind of foundation differently this is another kind of foundation this is another kind of foundation so whatever they are they are explained into this one over here then their depth their height their total overall uh, uh, height of the base and the pcc calculation and everything that has been explained into this drawing the next one is included in into this one as a column drawing because um, we always know that uh, on every foundation we must we raise the column so how many columns are there the same as the uh, found number of foundation 11 so what is the type of um, uh, column we are going to have how, how the reinforcement is going to take place in that column and everything is been explained into this drawing only this is the first one we are going to use for the calculation of the foundation and you following the same project on uh, upgoing and the next one are the beam details now the beams we have starting from the if we start from this ground level if it is a ground level the, at the first we have this plinth beams then at certain height that we do have is the lintel beams and then we have the roof beams okay so ground this uh, plinth beams and the roof beams are more the more like they are the binding components to the columns and these lintel beams are the one to the support to the walls and windows uppers okay whatever the load to the above the wall from from the wall that has been going to come on a window and door will be supported by this lintel beam so these calculations how to calculate them what is the total reinforcement how the t joints and everything l joints if there are any how they are going to take place how the reinforcement overlapping and the lap lines and everything whatever the calculations are there they are explained into this st uh, structural drawing beam details the next one we have is a roof slab drawing roof slab drawing is the last one drawing in related to structural drawing wherein there are the details whether this slab is a one uh, uh, one way slab or two way slab and then uh, how the slab uh, uh, reinforcement is going to take place how the uh, merging between the beam and the slab is going to take place how the uh, steel alignment is there and everything is been explained into this one so calculate the concrete quantity as well as steel quantity we are going to use the roof slab drawings 
you know the next are the other drawings which are you know specifically used drawings so they are the one the electrical fitting drawings electrical fittings are those drawings wherein i i come to know that uh, from this point my uh, in a house this uh, let us suppose uh, from one point that my uh, electricity is going to enter in my house then how it that electricity is going to get distributed from that electric board and how many fans switches i do have how many bulb switches i do have tube lights which i do have any telephone outlet or anything i have so that everything that that has been explained into this one and again the this drawing is important one to calculate the quantities related to the electrical fittings whatever they are in your house next comes as the plumbing and sanitary details so plumbing is from where the water is going to come in uh, at the first inside the house then again if there is any storage water uh, tank at the roof from there how it is going to enter in my house that is been explained into this one then uh, water related things and plumbing and sanitary related thing how the washrooms and uh, toilets are going to look alike how their sections and uh, you know uh, whatever the arrangements inside the uh, uh, those mod uh, utensils and everything how they are going to get arranged inside them is been explained to this one the, so that what we'll come to know from that we'll come to know the dimensions of everything how they are arranged and how much of quantity of everything is going to need we'll come to know whenever going, we are going to use this drawing <clears throat> and the last drawing that we do have for our usage is called as the finishing drawings now the finishing drawings are uh, is something which gives you the idea related to how your building is going to look alike at the end and how much of material inside as well as outside and which type of material you are going to use for your finishing purposes you know um, it has been said if you are going to make your building more aesthetic it is going to cost you more that's in a simple way right so whatever the aesthetical concepts and finishing concepts i am going to use in my house they are going to affect my final construction cost so uh, this is the type of drawing which is also important which gives you the minute of the minute details related to the finishing starting from uh, painting plastering then if there is a false work if uh, there are some hanging bulbs any planting or cladding work you are going to do inside the house outside the house or tiles and pave, paver blocks and anything that are, all comes under the finishing drawings so up to here these are some of the important drawings that we have seen so these every drawing we are going to use to calculate the different quantity again and again so uh, if you if you want to study more and about this one you just go through the drawings and i'll be providing you more drawings so that you will come to know how to calculate the quantity of a minute of the minute thing so with this i wish you all the best thank you